Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. It's Brianna and in this week's video, it is a study vlog and productive college week in my life because that is my life every single week. And being productive is literally all that I have to do. So make sure to like and subscribe and let's get studying. <laughs> So this week I was actually super busy. I had something due in every single one of my courses and this is a little bit rare because usually it's spread out over, I don't know, seven or eight days, but no, it was all confined within five days. So I was feeling the pressure and I also had meetings to attend, an event for one of my extracurriculars. And on top of that, I had to do work for my other extracurricular. So just a super busy week in general and my productivity levels were just through the roof because if not, then I definitely would not have finished everything. Okay, hi, good morning everyone. It is Monday morning and I just got a package in the mail. I was going through a little crisis last week, so I just bought something impulsively, but you know, I look back at it and I got a pretty good deal, so <gasps> I'm so excited. I got another Nike crew neck. This looks really similar to what I'm wearing right now, but we're just not gonna talk about that and we're just gonna appreciate. And then I also got my dad fleece quarter zip because he loves quarter zips. I feel like whenever I have a lot of work or a busy schedule, time just flies past me. This whole week was just assignment after assignment. I can hardly remember what happened on each day and it's just such a blur. I guess that's what happens when your sole task is to be a productive student and not to mention I was feeling kind of down at the start of the week. I was just feeling a little disappointed in my academic and creative work. I was just listening to my sad girl hours playlist for literally 48 hours straight, but don't worry, all is well now. You guys can tell that I was really going through it because I didn't even bother taking my hair out and rebraiding it. I just kept my bed head all day. recently been getting more serious about being a volunteer research assistant and it's been really interesting and also challenging just because the team that I'm working with has years more experience than me so it's also intimidating but it's been nice to be able to broaden my education experience outside of my like cookie cutter course load because all of my courses are mandatory so I just had to do some readings and then I also had to do some database research in preparation for our weekly meeting, so that's just what I'm doing here. Okay guys, so yesterday I was kind of in a slump and you know, I finally got out of it and I'm so happy because, I don't know, like being like in a rut or like going through it is like not a great feeling. So obviously I was just like trying to get out of it all day and you know, you know what worked, which is like, my toast is up. I was gonna say, like, the only thing that, like, got me out of that slump yesterday was handing small assignments in and buying stuff, which is not great because every single time that I'm sad, I can't just buy stuff. Like, it doesn't really work like that because my, my wallet doesn't work like that. I changed my outfit like three times in this one day and it's actually because I had a women in healthcare club event in the evening and I wanted to look a little bit more presentable so of course I had to pull out the Betty Cooper <laughs> collared shirt and crew neck outfit.
I was seriously just rushing that AHS paper. It's done now. I think it's actually pretty well written now that I'm looking back at it. I'm about to submit it. I'm just checking over the APA format. Literally, the only marks that I lost on my last paper were for formatting, which sucks because it's out of so little. I'm really, I'm trying to be meticulous with the formatting right now. And yeah, when I hand it in, I'll be back. It is 8 in the morning and I'm kind of cold so we're gonna snuggle back up. I have a meeting at 10. Yesterday I slept around 5 and it's 8 o'clock now so I slept for 3 hours which is still 2 REM cycles by the way so I'm not like totally dead. I think I'll make breakfast. Um, not that hungry right now though. So I did end up having breakfast because I knew I was going to need the energy throughout the day because I was running on such little sleep and I was just starting my morning off with some light admin work as I usually do, either on my phone or on my laptop. And then I was working on my chemistry lab while my friends were watching Attack on Titans on Discord, which is another reason why I love Discord because you guys can stream and watch shows together and it's just... <laughs> I love Attack on Titans. I'm literally obsessed with the show. I've also been interested in the Panama Doro technique. I already do the Pomodoro technique, but I'd love to incorporate anime into my studying. So if you guys also love anime and you're interested in how the technique works, I would love to make a video about it. So just let me know in the comments. So it's around 1 a.m. now and I'm only running on three hours of sleep, but I did do my workout already and take a shower and I'm not tired. So I'm just gonna guess use my time that I'm energized to do some more work because I'm feeling okay. Like mentally, I'm not like exhausted like I was a few days ago and um, I'm just like in a really productive mood to get stuff done. So hopefully I can finish up my chem lab conclusion. That's like the only component that I have left and then maybe get started on my speech comm assignment because it's the reason why i've kept putting it off this week is because it's just so time consuming it's not necessarily hard and it's just like i don't want to commit the time to like have to do it so i guess i'll just like do some of that tonight and then spread it out tomorrow but in the meantime i'm going to make some ramen because i went grocery shopping the other day as you guys saw and yeah i'm just craving my comfort food I had how many seconds to spare? <laughs> 33. I can't believe I just handed that in. <laughs> so guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, make sure to like and subscribe and leave any video suggestions in the comments below and I'll see you all in the next one. We don't need a rush and we don't need to make no plans.